So I'm going into the weekend, still in the hospital. I'm going to be doing another MRI to see why I still can't walk after, even after the procedure. But I want to ask you, how many of you guys are suffering from back pain, sciatica pain, um, and just weakness in your legs? For over 15 years, I've been in three or four auto accidents causing back pains and I always thought that by going to physical therapy chiropractor care that that was gonna fix my problem turns out that all I've been doing all along is just patching the problem and not actually fixing the problem so this is how it started I've been having pain um, more so after my COVID infection back last year, the pain increased, but physical therapy, chiropractor care, and I thought that was going to fix it or take care of the problem. Well, I was at an assignment on Thursday going up and downstairs. By the time I was done, my legs started to give out on me. And thought nothing of it, went home, rested, come um, Saturday while cleaning, my legs gave out and I had to be carried into my bedroom. And again, took some meds, did a little bit of uh, home therapy, thinking that was going to take care of it. Come Sunday, I couldn't move anymore. And although you always see me smiling and, you know, it's not putting up a front. It's just, that's just the way I am. And as you can see, these red rash on my face. Now, it's not only my back, my sciatic pain, but now my lupus, my autoimmune disorders are flaring up, causing even more pain and causing this to happen. And I have rashes on my legs brain fog, uh, my face started feeling numb, tingling, and my eyesight. And so it turns out that I have severe nerve impingement throughout my spine, and my L5-S1 discs are bulging and creating that much more pressure into the spine nerve. So the fact that I have so much swelling and nerve impingement it's throwing my whole body out of whack my hands my limbs i just basically have no strength so if you are you know um, experiencing any of this go get checked don't let it get this far and you always hear me talk about self-care self-love and even though i thought i was doing enough self-care and self-love and taking care of myself Apparently it wasn't enough and here I am and I don't know whether I'm gonna be able to walk I don't know what's gonna happen with me as of right now um, but I am very helpful grateful and thankful of the care that I'm receiving here at Sutter they have been great um, but as a mother a wife a business owner who's always on a go-go you can't imagine how useless it makes you feel not being able to get up and care for yourself anymore so um, I share this because you're either a mom a wife business owner and if you're struggling with any type of health issue please get it checked get second opinions don't let it get to the point where I'm at right now and where I'm at right now is not knowing whether this has caused irreparable damage where I won't be able to move or even get up, walk. And I can't even stop to think about like, what's gonna happen for somebody that's always on the go, go to finally just be placed on a wheelchair. You know, it's, it's devastating, but keeping up hope and uh, praying all this information goes down and that they 
can avoid doing major surgery on me. And we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted. Um, as always, keep on bossing up and rising. And uh, take care of yourself. Because if you become um, immobile, you won't be able to do anything. So just keep on shining. Um, I'm still grateful that I'm alive. Even with all these limitations. So, boss up and rise.